everyone. Today, we're diving deep into history to explore an intriguing story about youth responsibilities from thousands of years ago. In this video, we'll be discussing an ancient text from the Sumerian period, offering insights into how young people were guided on their duties and roles. Our story begins with a father giving advice to his son, reflecting a profound understanding of youth responsibilities. This ancient wisdom provides us with valuable lessons on how we can approach the challenges faced by today's youth. If you're ready, let's turn the dusty pages of history and uncover these timeless lessons together. Irresponsibility among the youth has been a recurring issue throughout history. In fact, this problem was as prevalent in ancient times as it is today. Even thousands of years ago, unruly and headstrong children were a significant source of grief for their families. I'll be sharing a tale from the Sumerians, written approximately 3,700 years ago. This story contains a father's counsel to his son, advising him to succeed in school, fulfill his responsibilities, and avoid wandering the streets. The father wants to ensure that his son understands his advice and has him repeat it word for word. As the story unfolds, the father continues to guide his son on how to become a responsible individual. He advises against wasting time on the streets, stresses the importance of paying attention in school, and encourages learning from the past. Through his words, we can clearly see the father's disappointment and sorrow over his son's irresponsibility. He had hoped his son would follow the right path without needing to work in the fields or perform menial tasks. This father's feelings mirror the frustrations many families face today. His desire for his son to be a scribe, like himself, rather than a laborer, underscores the difficulty and the high regard he has for the profession. He notes that writing is a challenging craft ordained by the gods and emphasizes the value of intellectual pursuits. The father critiques his son and tries to steer him towards reason and responsibility. The story concludes with the father expressing his best wishes for his son, hoping that he will be esteemed in the eyes of the moon god Nana and his consort Ningal. Here's an excerpt from the text. The father asks his son, Where did you go? The son replies, Nowhere. The father then questions why he's being idle if he hasn't gone anywhere, urging him to go to school, complete his homework, and follow through with his tasks. In a lengthy discussion, the father explains that spending time idly in the streets or squares is inappropriate. He advises his son to be observant, humble, and respectful of school authorities. The father also reflects on past generations, urging his son to learn from history and avoid idleness. He compares his son unfavorably to the children of relatives, expressing his disappointment. The father's efforts to make his son a wise and responsible individual are evident, as he tries to approach him gently while still revealing his sadness. In the end, the father prays for his son's protection and honor in the eyes of the gods, hoping he will be remembered with respect and dignity. And that's our exploration of this ancient Sumerian story from thousands of years ago. It shows us that the themes of youth responsibility and family roles are universal and timeless. The lessons from these ancient texts continue to illuminate the challenges faced by today's youth and their families. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more historical and cultural content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video, and goodbye for now.